Let's take a look at some more rooms. We're going to look at spaces in different ways that you've used to divide them, starting Absolutely. with this gorgeous uh, living room right here. Okay. Well, we talked earlier on, Tracy, about the console. If you look behind that sofa there, you can see that we've got a console table there with two lamps, providing just a little bit of a barrier between the spaces. Yeah. Uh, and also the coloration. We've played one, uh, one area with a large amount of the coloration of that really rich red kind of cherry damson shade. Right. And then in the other, in the other aspects of the room, we've played it in a slightly more minor way, so it really works together. Uh -huh. Now here, this is an L-shaped basement, and this is a two-part extravaganza, okay? okay? We've used sliding wardrobe doors on the side to simplify the space, you know, because it's very open. And you'll see that there's actually an office lurking behind there as well. So there's two functions in an open concept space, but rather than have them together, mm -hmm. we're using wardrobe doors to divide them. I like, just love that punch of tangerine, it's too. Oh, great. Do you know what you used in Tango? It was, it was a Pantone color a few years back, and we still love playing out time and time again because it's so punchy. And that's yes. also a really good illustration of using product in a different way. Wardrobe doors become a sectional, so do you yes. know? Absolutely. Function. Okay, in this picture as well, let's talk about what you're using to uh, divide the space. Okay, well, if you look at that space, you'll see the big aqua wall at the rear. Then if you look at the front of the photograph, you'll see the little aqua tone played there. So it's, again, it's a major, minor thing. We've got the dining to the left of that photograph with the big high bonquette top. And then we've picked out the color again to the right in the, in the kidney table as well. So everything's delineated. The rug is used as an anchor point to really tell you that you've now left the dining zone and you've come into the living area and that's the place you nest and you, settle. Yeah, you can use almost anything to divide a oh, space, anything. including color. Oh, including so color. So that's what's happening right here uh, on the wall we have. You've got two separate colors. We do have two separate colors, you know, and again, this is like really, let's dense, juicy tone in there mm -hmm. and then a softer tone on the other wall. Now, we're not advocating that you put these together, <laughs> but it might be that you have maybe like one wall on one side of a really big, long room yes. that's uh, maybe younger. Maybe you've got the television up here you know your kids toys are here and this is somewhere where you want a bit of zest a bit of juice mm -hmm. and then as you get into the more adult end of the room you want a softer tone in there you know yes. so there's a little sitting room somewhere for mum and dad just to escape the exactly. madness to chill. But, Indeed. exactly but it's a lick of pain you know so really inexpensive and then yes. down to floor level as well we've got green rug green rug with extra colors so perhaps in one today you've got to get the green goddess thing on tracy so you are Thank particularly you. a woman here my lovely yeah. Is, again, so you play perhaps in a more restrained part of the room, you play the one colour. But if you want to add a bit of kind of extra design excitement to the other side, then find a rug that complements the other, that adds an extra couple of tones, and hey presto, you are done.